Steve copy. Stand by. Thing that I could find that was wrong. Um, but Bruce is playing. 
wires touching or anything, you know. The only thing that was very misleading was the, um, the outer core of the white wire was sort of broken away, you know. It was connected, Sounds like they're having a problem with one of their rigs, doesn't doing it? Doing an insulation job, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think I might have struggled with that one, but he was working. So, I didn't notice that when I was soldering him up. Has had an issue with a radio, I think. I'm not really sure. We'll try and find out.
Seven of noise, my end. Uh, you're a little bit back of the box, but your audio's good, fella. issues down there, what are you having issues with? Well, so what are you on now, the Alberac? Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with the audio on that, dude. You just, you know, I think it's just a weather interference today. I've heard you on the Alberac before. It was fine. Um, has Bruce not got a power line close to his aerial there, Terry? I can't remember. We did the aerial with him, see? I can't remember if there was a power line running around the back of his garden, which might affect that, because it's, it's digital, isn't it? And Bruce hasn't got any digital rigs. That was his. That's his first digital rig, isn't it? Um, there is a line out the back, but he, he never gets any issue with anything else. I think it's the, the sensitivity. Of, perhaps could be the sensitivity of the mic doing it, and and that, and one or two other things. But he doesn't. He doesn't get any interference either, does he? No, he doesn't. But. Um, his house is like a bloody 
woolacocks in there, do you know what I mean? There's that much electrical stuff in there. I wouldn't be surprised if it is affecting his, elect his, his digital rig because I have to turn off all the LED lights and when we had the Christmas lights, Christ man! You know, I couldn't live with it with the Christmas lights. You had to turn them off of a night to hear everybody, you know? And Bruce's place is lit up in there. It's like bloody Chernobyl, man. There's that many fucking flashing lights and gizmos in there. Yeah, Steve, go. copy that Steve. I think that some rigs just don't work in some areas. I've got the, t the Thunderpole T2000 and on FM I think it's fucking rubbish. Do you know what I mean? It just doesn't it doesn't do it for me. Do you know what I mean? There's hum, there's noise, there's crackle, there's fucking all sorts. But the T800 that's in the car on FM is spot on. Do you know what I mean? It, it's, I need to put an amp on it but it, you know it's a clean rig, I just think that some rigs just don't work in certain areas, I just think that there's something that affects them that you just can't get around, do you know what I mean, I just think there's something out there that you just can't get around and you think, you know, because my SS, I I have no issues at all, I, I could receive, uh, obviously, hopefully I get out alright, I don't know what I'm, I'm coming into you like today, I mean the weather's crap. But, you know, I need to try this T2000 again, because now I've put the aerial up a little bit, so I'm wondering if I'll get, make a difference there, do you know what I mean? Because I said to, I said to uh, Bruce, he should try this T2000, because it was digital first, just try it. Just take it, you don't have to buy it, just take it and try it. You know, and see what it's like. So, has he tried the other, uh, what, what's he gone for now? Obviously he's give you the Alvarac back. What, what's he gone for now then? 
I just got myself a coax splitter so I can I was gonna wire in the T two thousand today and and have a go because I've got a spare power supply and all the rest of it. I was gonna put them both in, start a little you know, little pile of CBs area on my t on my desk side. Because I I've actually bought another T eight hundred as well. There was one on Facebook, some bloke in Do you know what? I think that we all spoke to him. There was some bloke that we spoke to a few weeks back, I don't know if you remember and he was getting out on a biscuit tin in, in his fucking loft basically and he was saying to us that he had a mag mount in the loft and he was on a little T800 I don't know if you remember but I've just bought his rig and that because he said he couldn't get out on it he wanted to go bigger so he sold me his little rig and he wanted to go bigger so now I've actually got two of those T800s and I just give one to my old man just to fire in his place on a, on a pole you know Terry, are you still on side or are you gone now? No, I'm here. What, what's that radio then? T800, is it? Is that all it is? Yeah, Thunderbolt T800, dude. That's what I'm running in the car. That's the only reason I bought it, because I'm a fucking Terminator fan, but yeah, that's what I run in the car, dude, with no amp, and I can pick you, I picked you up, you were coming, where did you say you were? You were coming Whitestone, across from Padstow, is it Whitstone, Whitestone, up at the top of Weybridge there, and I was at, uh, where was I? I always forget what it's called, Wayne House Corner. I was at Wayne House Corner and you were coming through the top of Weybridge there and I could hear you clear as a bell. Tony? Fuck that there. Terry, go again, I missed that. Bobman up by uh, St Lawrence's there. Yeah, I can't remember that. Yeah, it's a nice little radio that, isn't it? Mobile and that. Mate, you can borrow mine if you want and try it in your bloody truck. You'll be fucking surprised. There's a hell of a receive on it. And I get out quite well. I've spoken to Bruce from Stratton on it. That's what you use in your car, isn't it? Yeah, I use that on a... Uh, on a mag mount on a Thunderpole whip. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, quite a nice looking radio that is. So many different things about now, isn't it? Yeah, but for the money, fella, you know, those T800s for the money, I mean, I paid 40 quid off Matey Boy. It came with a power supply, it came with a mag mount, it came with everything. It came with an FWR meter, the works. And the one that I've got in the car, I mean, I, that was how, that's what got me into CB. I put it into, I put it in the car in Stratton one evening after work. I was like, oh, fuck it. 
bought it on Amazon for 50 quid with the area and all the rest of it, 100, 104 quid I think it was all in, SW Army, all the cables, all the rest of it, threw it in the car and the first voices I heard was you and Brucey bantering, you was on the way back from work, I think you might have been mobile in your car and I was getting you all the way from bloody Davidstone, I was in Stratton, that was the first time I turned the rig on, oh and Steve, I picked up Steve on the way home as well and Rich. Copy that, Terry. Look, if you want to borrow that little T800, just give me a shout. You can borrow it, mate. I tell you now, when you borrow it, you will want to buy one. Bloody brilliant. And mine is in, like you say, compact for a modern car. I've got my stereo head unit and then I've got the CB underneath. I haven't had to cut any big holes or do any fucking about or anything like that. It doesn't hang off the side. It's all it's all tucked away. And I've got a little, little linear to put on it as well in the car, so I want to give it a little kick. Copy that, I've been doing the same and now sat down with my first beer in the afternoon I'm not going anywhere. Right, Steve, uh, Steve, yeah it is Steve. Steve, Steve, come back. Is anybody else on channel? Bruce, are you back yet? Steve, copy? <coughs> Yeah, copy that. Hang on, I'm just going to deal with a teenager a second. Hang on.
Tony switch. but I'm told it's a goodie. Mike. Mm. Mike, check one, two. Here we go, just get the grab the mic in a second. Then we'll turn it on and see what it does. This is the T2000 Thunderpole. Seven volume. Oh, there they are. Right, let me just sort this out a minute so we can hear it. Just trying to make something to rest it on a second. That's Bruce. Let me just... Oh, fucking I really think it's working fine at your place. Right, this is the T2000, T2000, Yeah, on side. Yeah, on side. I wonder what it was. I wish Tony took it home, really. It probably worked with a five. <laughs> right, I said, right. you take it home and try it there, That's chap. Better. Yeah, it probably would have worked fine. Um, yeah, weird one. Very strange, that one. And yet that mic was playing up on my bloody... Um, I must have a bad hurt or bad transform or something. Yeah, on side. Might be slightly folding. Nope. What's happened there? Someone's coming in, look. What the... Yeah, copy that, no audio with the bleep. Hey. Uh, Charlie's there, I think. Yeah, Charlie, no bleep. I mean no bleep. No modulation. Yeah, no modulation, Terry, come back again. Yeah, copy got you now. Okay. Oh, I'll have a look at this mic. Um, yeah, 
audio on this. Copyright Steve, I have just switched to the T2000, that's why I um, just wanted to see what the audio is like. Yeah, I am fucking struggling with you on this one though. just switch quickly back to the SS and I can hear you on that, I can't hear you on this T2000 at all. Steve, have you got a log, throw it on and see if it helps me out here. Terry, you copying me? Bruce, you copying me? Can't hear him. Drowns out the signal for this one, that's quite cool, isn't it? Just put this one back on a bit. difference between rigs. Here's Terry, look. Mental. So yeah, the T2000 is good, but not as good as this. Yeah, the noise is 
If she wants to open them. Very, very old, but I bet the audio is fantastic on it, Steve. Yeah, I think we'll leave it there for today. That's quite a good run. You see me try that T2000 out, which is the receive on it is nothing compared to this SS69, which is Superstar, whatever you want to call it, the CRT. Um, it's pissing down outside. Yeah, I am running two power supplies ne next to each other, so it might interfere with the T2000. I am running it through a, a um, uh, what's it called? What's this called? An antenna box as well, but that works well. We've proved that because they both work really well at the same time, which I know I'm not supposed to do. It's probably RF, blah blah blah. No one cares. Look, hope you enjoyed the video. We're not, I'm North Cornwall. Dave is. West Cornwall, Terry's up the road, uh, Bruce was mobile there as you heard, he was a bit in and out so you know, but Bruce is always bang on anyway so it's nice to hear Bruce struggling once in a while. Um, yeah so I hope you enjoyed that, um, that's my uh, Saturday afternoon uh, radio. Thanks for watching people, I hope you made it to the end and if you didn't subscribe anyway because you might see something you like. Cheers.